This is another one of our Tea Party Guides to Washington, residential real estate of the ruling class. This is Jay Carney's house in the 4800 block of W Street. For some reason, he's left his Halloween decorations out. Um, this is a DC cop car with tinted windows, but apparently there's no policeman there. Anyway, the point of today's tape, although I just made another one that's very similar, is um, to see if we can get uh, a different orientation and if it will load. So there's already one of these tapes made, and it's a tape where I started out at, huh, there's a nice little bear there. It's a tape where I started out at uh, Hillary Rosen's house, which is at 48th and Hutchins Place, since she's in the news this week, and Jay Carney was denouncing her in a way and saying he didn't know who the Hillary Rosen was who's visited the White House 35 times. He knows three Hillary Rosens. And of course, one of the many funny things about that, there are at least three. One is the purpose of this tape, uh, we, and we just made another tape, and so I've determined it walking uphill. This time we're walking downhill, but walking uphill from Hutchins Place at 48th to W Street at 48th takes less than 10 minutes. It takes less than 10 minutes to walk, not run, but walk slowly while talking uphill from Hillary Rosen's house to Jay Carney's house. Two, Hillary Rosen spells her name with one L, unlike Hillary Clinton, I think, and many other Hillary's. Um, of the 35 visits by Hillary Rosen to the White House where you sign in and um, Jay says he knows three Hillary Rosens. The question is, does he know three Hillary Rosens and three different Hillary Rosens sign in who spell it with one L instead of two? I don't understand why the media doesn't ask those simple questions. I mean, they laughed at him, they made fun of him, but I mean, it, it's actually a massively stupid lie. Um, and three, what's most stupid of his lie about all is that his wife, ABC journalist, alleged journalist Claire Shipman, a very pretty woman who I've stood in line behind shopping at the Safeway that we're about to walk by. Um, if you Google Claire Shipman and Hillary Rosen, those four words, those two names together, you will find in merely the ones that make it onto the internet from Washington social pages of various Washington publications, that Claire Shipman and Hillary Rosen go to events together constantly, including Claire Shipman went to Hillary Rosen's 50th birthday party, and Hillary Rosen went to Claire Shipman's book party when she published a book in 2009. Uh, but there are many other ones, including brunches at Tammy Haddad's house and White House dinners. They are constantly at small events of 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 people, all kind of ruling class journalists and flags and executive directors of this and that, where they are among the very small number of people there. So for Jay Carney not to be aware of his neighbor, Hillary Rosen, who has a very unusually spelled name with one L when she signs into the White House visitor's logs, for him to claim that he doesn't know if she's the one visiting the White House or not, when they live in the same neighborhood and she goes to an event with, that his wife is at, uh, every other month <laughs> is is beyond shitty in terms of what a shit-eating lie that is and how it just illustrates that everything that Jay Carney does and unfortunately probably lots of what lots of people in that job do including Robert Gibbs uh, it is to lie constantly anyway this is the commercial strip of their joint neighborhood uh, it has one marvelous market, one pizza parlor, one wine store, one pet store, one photo development place, one big grocery store, the Safeway, one big drug store, the CVS. So, I mean, I come here occasionally and shop because I used to live near here, and the Safeway's convenient and it has a giant parking lot. And if you're going by it, it's very convenient to park here and shop as opposed to other parts of DC. I've come here to shop and ended up in line behind Claire Shipman and her kids. <laughs> so the idea that Claire Shipman and Jay Carney and Hillary Rosen live in the same neighborhood where there's a, this small, really wide upper middle class, small town neighborhood on the western side of DC, that they live here 
and uh, but he, he's unaware of whether the Hillary Rosen visiting the White House is that Hillary Rosen. It is beyond ridiculous. Now to the neighborhood. One of the funny things about Hillary Rosen's block is that she has a friend there whose name is Tammy Haddad. Tammy Haddad is this legendary uh, producer and booker. She's the one who got Larry King famous. She has wiped this off her internet bio and out of Wikipedia, but she's also the one who got John McLaughlin famous and got him syndicated everywhere. Uh, and, and they're not the only two. At any rate, Tammy Haddad is like most of these people. Um, it's always, it's always, or at least very frequently, here's the one pet store. Oh, it's changed to a grocery store. Anyway, um, <clears throat> Tammy Haddad lives with a guy named Ted Greenberg, who is a muckety-muck at the World Bank, just as Andrea Mitchell, allegedly a journalist, lives with Alan Greenspan, who ran the Federal Reserve, and Dick Gregory, and all of these people essentially live within a few blocks of here. I've made videos of their houses before. Uh, Dick Gregory, uh, David Gregory lives with uh, Beth Wilkinson, a Fannie Mae executive and lobbyist. And even though these people live with these <laughs> high government regulators, the ones of them who are actually journalists, supposedly reporting on the economy, like Andrew Mitchell and David Gregory, uh, don't ever seem to know anything about economics. They don't seem to have a clue that the mortgage crisis is about to happen, etc., etc., etc. Anyway, as you can see, we've just walked through a commercial strip. Oh, you know, it looks like when you go downhill, <laughs> Hillary Rosen lives seven and a half minutes as opposed to nine and a half minutes <laughs> from uh, Hillary Rosen lives seven and a half minutes from Jay Carney's house. Walking uphill, it took me uh, it took me nine and a half minutes to get from one to the other. But uh, walking downhill. Anyway, Hillary Rosen lives on. She lives across the busy street. Her house actually costs more than his. His house, when he bought it, I think was only 900000 or something. Although it may be assessed for a little more now. They've both gone up and down. When she bought her house, which I think her ex, Elizabeth Birch, helped her pay for. I think they're both on the title. Uh, she paid more like just under one and a half million. Elizabeth Birch paid a little over one and a half million for hers, which is also right around the corner. We're not going to film Elizabeth Birch's house, although we may have accidentally filmed it earlier when we were filming houses in the of the river. But she's not really in this story, aside from writing a piece for Huffington Post about it. Uh, because uh, I don't think she's in politics anymore. She ran the Human Rights Campaign Fund for a while. But before that, she was essentially a lawyer, lobbyist for Microsoft. Anyway, so it actually took eight minutes and 20 seconds from Jay Rosen's house to Hillary, so, sorry, from Jay Carney's house to Hillary Rosen's block. Um, and she's closer to the other end of the block. We'll end this 